Hello and welcome back to VR Cricket Guy. Now today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I want to discover whether I have found a bug, whether it is a bug, or whether it's just something new with the MetaQuest 3. As you can hear, I've not got any background music playing at the moment. That's because I've got a funny feeling if you have any music or sound effects or any ambience playing in the background, you won't be able to hear my voice very well. Um, previous games I've played have noticed that when I'm trying to commentate, you can barely hear my voice in the background um on the meta quest 2 the voice is very well projected it sort of prioritized over the sound effects and music i've got a funny feeling with the meta quest 3 that's not the case with a little bit more investigation i found that other meta quest users have also found the problem with the mic so i just want to do a few tests i want to play uh, a few overs without any music or without any ambience without any sound effects apart from the bat hitting the ball i think i need those on so if that doesn't work uh, then we'll have got problems so I'm just going to go into a 10 wicket match, unlimited overs against the ultra insane bowling on a bouncy wicket, uh, unlimited overs, 10 wickets, day match, no bat shield of course though. Um, right, let's play against uh, India because I know I've got a lot of Indian fans. So let's see what happens with, uh, with this setup. Okay, here we are. So I've got no ambience, no crowd noise going on. So I'm hoping you should be able to hear my voice nice and clearly. Um, if that's the case, then at least that's one solution. I can just play the game without any crowd uh, sound effects. But that's uh, not really ideal, to be honest. Right, well, what I want to do also is take this helmet cam off. That's better. Right, let's see what happens with no ambience. I'll just play with a little bit of sound effects. It's no massive problem. Um, it's just what I suppose I could do is record some sound effects and just have it looped over the top. Again, that's not an ideal um, fix. So what I'm hoping to do is record this and then uh, post it on social media, see if I get a bit of feedback. Then I can go and feed that back to to the meta guys and just explain. Oh, my bold. That's around. This is the problem. So there's no no clapping. Oh, there's a big clatter of wickets though. <laughs> That's all right. Here you can uh, hear it. Like, whoa, whoa. So if I commentate over this ball, it's a bouncer, and just get underneath it, a little bit wide, and hoping that uh, this comes through crystal clear. Nice cut shot, but straight to backward point. I suppose what I could do, I could just maybe I could increase the uh, ambience. Oh, another bowl. Yeah. I suppose what I could do is just gradually increase the ambience and uh, see what level I need to have it at to be able to make some um, my usual standard of content. What I don't want to do is uh, rely on the camcorder mic because that's not very good at all. Shot, square cut, booming square cut for four behind square. In the past, with the MetaQuest 2, occasionally the uh, microphone didn't turn itself on. So even though all your settings are correct, sometimes the mic just wouldn't work and uh, you're left with no, no commentary. So you had to rely on the camera microphone on my camcorder which wasn't ideal and uh, I think it did actually ruin some of the quality of my content in the past so I'm really hoping I can be able to sort this issue out with the MetaQuest 3. Edged and caught behind so you, you, that's one of the problems I can't actually tell if he's actually caught um, in my usual way, normally you hear the big ring, and the crowd goes wild, and then the uh, there's also um, noise from the fielders. So without that, it really does uh, take some of the uh, gameplay away. To be honest, I'm a little bit annoyed. Stop. That's short and wide and punished. Right. So I think what I'll do now, I'll increase some of the ambient sounds. Uh, where are you? Uh, hopefully I can do this without actually starting again. Oh, no. Volume. Volume settings. How can I miss that? Right. So let's turn up the ambience by 20%. 
and see how that goes. I can't actually hear it at all. That's not good. Oh, this way. It's a little bit, just about to hear the footsteps of the bowler as he um, approaches, the, approaches the wickets. And I can't hear the crowd. Shot. Lovely shot. Oh, there's a bit of crowd noise there. There's a little bit of crowd noise cheering the boundary. But normally there is the over laying hum of the crowd as I bash that for six there you go right so the crowd noise is there that's 20 percent let's try it again let's push it up a little bit more volume settings ambience let's put it up to 40 percent let's see we'll let's see how we get on with that still no sound of the crowd There's more sound. And what I don't want to do is when the crowd is clapping, you won't be able to hear my voice. So it's going to be a little bit up and down. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I don't think there's much point in having me commentate nice and clearly. And every time the crowd applaud, my voice gets uh, distorted or it uh, loses volume. I think I need to try that. Let's see if I can get a four and then try and talk over the crowd noise. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Right. That's caught at gully. Yep, Joe Root goes for five. Just want to try and get a boundary. Shot. Sure. I don't think it's going to reach the boundary though. No, it's going to be well short, well short actually. What I've also tried in the past, well, last week actually, is an external mic. Um, it's one of those ones that connects to your phone uh, wirelessly, but because it's hanging off my shirt, it also gave a lot of um, interference. Every time I sort of tried to get a shot, it would wrap it around. And that was no good at all. Shot. There we go. Hopefully now you should be able to hear my voice over the top of the applause. If I can't, if I can't hear my voice very well over the applause, uh, then that's a, a problem I'm going to have. Just going to increase volume again now. Let's work it up to sixty. Okay, definitely no. There's no ambient crowd noise. There we go, there's a big shot there. So if I try and talk over this boundary, if it does go all the way, it's not gonna go all the way, is it? It's gonna be held up, <laughs> typical. Again, I just wanna make sure I'm not losing my voice over the top of the crowd. That's gone for four, so that's four guys. So hopefully, hopefully you can hear my voice clearly when the ball goes to the boundary. I'm not Okay, so as you can probably hear from that last bit of crowd noise as the ball went over the boundary rope for buys, uh, my voice did get drowned out. So that's gonna be a bit of a problem really. Uh, every time I score four or six, or any time the crowd cheers and uh, claps, my actual commentary is gonna be drowned out by that noise. So it's definitely a bug or definitely something that's been changed for, for the MetaQuest 3 and it's not very good at all, to be honest. Uh, let's play a bit more and see what happens. I'm not too fussed, actually, about no crowd noise ambient-wise. But I think it's quite important to have some applause and some sound from the fielders when they attack a wicket. That'd be nice. Actually, to be honest, I can always loop some sort of crowd noise. There we go, beautiful. So satisfying. Here we go, straight to the boundary. So that's, let's leave it at that sort of levels. Let's have a look. Yeah, so if I was in any doubt from the first uh, crowd noise covering my voice, uh, this more or less confirms it as the, uh, the crowd are cheering. I can barely make out what I'm saying as I'm talking over the, uh, the cheers from the crowd. So I need to sort this out really. I need to get hold of Meta and see if there's a workaround or whether they're gonna change things in an update. All right, 60%, no commentary, obviously the commentary is terrible. Uh, sound effects, 65%, no music at all. Nice, that's beautiful. Just waiting for that one, a slower ball at 60, so 76 miles an hour. Let's do one nicely, the covers for four. Oh, 
I'm hoping this is going to be enough content for me to try and prove or disprove my theory. So what I suppose I need to do as well, I need to actually increase the volume so I can actually verify that it can't hear me with ambient sound. So I need to turn that up, don't I really? Show options, settings, volume settings, where is the crowd noise? About 100%. But there is no crowd noise. Okay, maybe, it's, maybe that's a bug on IB Cricket. <laughs> you can't actually turn the ambient sound on. Maybe I need to actually quit the game or go back to the main menu first. Nice. All right, let's do that now if I can. Uh, options. Save and exit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just go back into settings, go into volume settings. Uh, ambience is now at 100, so there should be... Uh, okay. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely 100% ambience, please. And let's see what happens. Or maybe it's under music. Let's go back to our previous game. Continue previous match. I'm hoping now there'll be some some uh, some crowd noise in the background. If not, it's uh, no problem. <laughs> right. Okay. Now you can hear the crowd, ambient crowd. Obviously, just the mutterings and talking. Basically, just trying to find out whether you can actually now hear my voice. I've got a funny feeling you can't hear me. Oh, if you can hear me, it's very very silent. This should be a good test now. Let's leave this settings as they are. Okay, so that's definitely 100% proof that any sound effects or music or ambient sound uh, playing whilst playing any game basically uh, will interfere in trying to record your voice as a content creator. So yeah, I'm quite happy to say now that I'm not going to be able to have the ambient crowd noise and try and commentate at the same time. Unless I use a external mic that I've, I think I've already explained, it doesn't quite work either. So it's either hopefully Meta can come up with a workaround or release an update to the software, or I'll just have to fork out more money on some sort of external mic that doesn't actually pin here. Maybe a Madonna style mic that goes around and sits in front of my face. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. I've seen that being used before on some other content creators website. So I might try and look at getting one of those. But yeah, this next couple of minutes will definitely prove the fact that the MetaQuest 3 voice recording software is not the same as the MetaQuest 2 and it doesn't quite work for me. Oh. Oh. Really fussed about scores today. It's just more a case of just trying to uh, discover any bug. <laughs> oh dear, that's terrible shot. Actually hit that with the uh, outside edge. There's plenty of boundaries now to be able to showcase whether or not you can hear my voice. So there's not much point in uh, continuing this section of the video. It's quite obvious that you can't actually hear me talking over the uh, sound effects anymore. So I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit and rejoin it where I actually turn the ambient sound off again. Actually, I've got a funny feeling doing that is going to turn off all the sounds from the, the filters as well. Yeah, okay. That's annoying. So basically the ambience sound and the sound of the cricketers and the cheering is all linked. It's very frustrating. Let's go back then. Uh, settings, turn the volume back up again. I think it was 60, I think, was my last setting. It's not under music, is it? No, okay. Right, so ambient isn't actually the crowd. Uh, that's a bit frustrating. I think that's a, 
That's an IB cricket problem. I think I might talk to the guys at IB cricket and have a word about that. Um, it's difficult to tell, really. A bit frustrating. I don't really want to be bug testing. And there's no oohs and ahs either behind the stumps. Normally, if you play a miss, you do get a bit of a ooh and ah from the slip cordant. There we go, cut that away. Right, that's a crowd noise. That's my voice. Hopefully, they don't intertwine. There's a bit of music. All right, I think I should uh, get to the end of the over and then test that as well. Wow, beautiful shot. Four more. That's a crowd noise. This is my voice. Does it work? Yes or no? Yeah, there's no ooh behind the stumps. Normally, you'll hear the fielders. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Cuts. Seven to seven. Now, if I click on the next over, the ship have some music playing. There it is. Right, so the music playing. I wonder if you can actually hear my voice over the top of the music. I probably think you can't. But on the Mac Quest 2, you can hear me clearly over the sound of the music. That's what I'm trying to discover now, whether I'm being drowned out by the sound effects of the gameplay in these videos on I, on the MetaQuest 3. So that's a good test, actually. I should have done that from the, from the get-go, but I was more interested in the, the ambient sound of the crowd murmuring away. Without that, you do lose a little bit of atmosphere. But uh, if that's the case, I'm... I'm not going to cry about it, to be honest, but it's a little bit frustrating. I mean, most uh, content creators enjoy the sound of their own voice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll put that out. I'll leave that in. That's quite funny. Ooh, guided nicely. I actually jumped backwards for that. I should just straight. There we go. That's my shot. The half volley driven through the covers for four. Is it? Come on, that's got to be a four. It's been all ran for. It is. It's an all ran for. You don't get claps for that. Off the pads for the first time in this little demo. Straight to mid on. There's the music. Fading up. All right, I think I'll just take the last three balls, or last four balls, sorry, last four balls. And then I should uh, get upstairs and start editing this together and see what I, what I find. And then as soon as I can, I'll post it on the MetaQuest or the Meta forums. <coughs> Smashes that straight over Midos' head. Beautiful thought. And I'll also post it on Reddit. Reddit's a good source for um yeah i'll also post it on reddit reddit's a good source to discover this position and, uh, nah, let's have one more over <laughs> always always room for one over Ooh, massive bottom edge now the reason i'm not wearing a cricket shirt today is basically because this was a last minute sort of idea before i need to uh get on with my day so i didn't have time to change uh, normally I wear a nice IPL shirt from Swanee Sports. And today I'm just wearing what I... Uh... Oh, bold! <laughs> wow! I'm just wearing what I slipped on this morning. Ah, oh, dear. Alright, last ball. Definitely last ball. Come on. Let's make it a good one. Terrible shot. Down to fine leg for one run. Right. 
That'll do. That's uh, me. I'm VR Cricket Guy. Just testing out whether there is a sound issue with the MetaQuest 3. I have seen other people posting about it. I've seen other people on TikTok using external mics. So I'm wondering whether there is an actual problem. Um, Meta, I have had a few replies from Meta. Basically, all they've said is... Uh, return the MetaQuest 3 and they'll investigate and then send me another one. I don't want to do that. That'll take weeks. Um, the other thing they've also tried to pull is using the uh, bot reply, which basically means turn it on and off again <laughs> or do a factory reset. But uh, no, I'm pretty sure there is an actual uh, issue with the uh, sound recording. Right, that's enough from me. Um, right, just a quick bit of information. This is the MetaQuest 3, obviously. This is the uh, Mint, Mint 3D bat. Uh, for Mint 3D. It's the only bat that I've used which is compatible with the MetaQuest 3. And there's a few others available. Um, I haven't had a chance to uh, get hold of one of those yet. Right, that's enough from me. Cheers. Cheerio.